Welcome back to the channel. It's Sarah here, Creating with Sarah. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today's video is a planner with me in my catch-all Franken big happy planner here in the dashboard layout. So if you guys want to check out this video, then keep on watching. So welcome back planner friends. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the like, the notification bell if you guys haven't already. I totally appreciate it. So let's get into this plan with me. Again, if you've been following me, thank you so much. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. So today's video, we are going to plan in my big happy planner here. Um, we're in April and we are going to be planning, um, let's see, the 5th through the 11th, sorry. I just got back from spring break and I am trying to um, remember where I'm at in life, <laughs> but I'm a planner, right? <laughs> okay, so again, welcome back, friends. I'm so glad that you are here. So I have some sticky notes already laid out for me, and I have an idea of what I'd like to use from my April stash. So I really want to use paper. So let's see what I can do with this. I got this at Hobby Lobby, and um, it just has all these fun floral like exotic floral paper colors and designs and everything like that so and then i have happy illustration um, it is my niece's birthday and this has some birthday related stickers in here and of course i have super mom here which is part of my everyday essential sticker books so this wasn't in uh, my stash but it's something that i use every single day or just part of planning every day and then i have an old one here watercolor um, I really want to use this, so we'll see what happens. And then, of course, I have my Simply Gilded washi over there. I thought, you know what, maybe I'm just going to use um, that for the... I haven't done that in a while. I like putting washi here and then repunching it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I'm trying to use this up. I've had this for a long time, and I used it to put some of the things that are going on this week. Oh, I have two birthdays this week, actually. So this is, again, a big happy planner. I'm using the dashboard layout. Um, this was last week. It was um, Easter weekend. So let's go ahead and pull these pages out and set this planner to the side. Okay. So I'm so happy to be back. I'm going to um, be posting some videos up, but they won't be... You know on the time frame because I just came back from spring break um, so some of my videos will be a little bit behind but I feel like that's okay um, but I'm gonna be fully back into planning hopefully <laughs> I just feel like every time we get closer to the end of the year it just gets really busy for me um, I guess with all the school things but yeah my daughter has games this week um, we have appointments and birthdays and there's a Michaels class with Shine Sticker Studio um, on the 7th that I need to remember that I want to watch. So, okay. Let's go ahead and do the washi first so I don't forget that. And, okay, I have this one that's like metallic, rainbow, and then I have this one I just got from my March box. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. It's such a fun planner subscription um, to try out. You get so many goodies. And if you love washi, you'll definitely love this planner subscription. Again, it's called Simply Gilded. Um, I always have like a code for you at the bottom. It's just a little something if you guys use it. Okay, so I have this one with the birds. I wanna see which, oh, and then my paper pad here. You know what, I'm gonna have to grab my big Happy Planner punch. Since I'm using the big, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Okay, I had to adjust my tripod a little bit. Um, okay, so I have both, and these are fun to have in your planner stash. Of course, if you are a planner, I think these are fun essential tools. So they're just the big Happy Planner punch and then the classic size. Um, these may be on clearance on their website, so you might wanna check those out but I could totally use these for the paper here. Oh, this one is so pretty. 
you just punch like that. And then you can add a quote, a paper quote, a clear sticker. But you, you will have to um, glue these down or you could glue them on um, Avery shipping label sticker paper and then punch it out so you can make it into a sticker or I actually have the, um, if you have the sticker maker, um, they have another one that has like a little turning thing, but this is the one I have. It's the smaller one. So I don't know if this will fit. Yeah, I don't even know if a classic will fit. Let me check. I think there's a larger one that works a lot better. Oh, this one barely fits. So you just pull it and cut it there. It's perforated and it becomes a sticker. I really wish that I could get the big in that. But um, I probably will glue it down for now. But those are some options to make your favorite paper into stickers. You could use these, here's the brand here, or you can um, put it again on shipping label paper and then you will repunch it out. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what paper I'd like to use. Actually, I'm gonna put my washi down first and I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's so fun. And then I'm gonna figure out the paper, then we'll do stickers. Okay, friends, so I have placed down my washi here um, and punched it out. And when I went to punch it out, I got like some scuff marks from the metal on the puncher. But um, that's right. So I also pulled some stickers on wax paper just to get me started because, I don't know, I've been doing that lately where I just pick some stickers that I like and the color palette that I wanna work with that matches um, the washi and then from the paper I thought the ones with the white backing would match really well it's super pretty I just love all the bright colors and then there's this one with more purple and I pull another page of that one and then lastly I got this one with the leopard I, don't, I thought it would be a fun mix so we'll use those for layering and yeah so I'm pulling from happy illustration and we'll go ahead and see what we come up with. All right. So I know already I want to put this big full box here on Wednesday. And we'll see what I can layer behind it with this paper. If I put one there and then let me punch one out of the big with the leopard print. I just wanna see where, but they have like peacock feathers in here. So I just wanna see as I'm layering, um, as I'm placing the paper in there, I just wanted a crop to see where I'd like to punch it out. So then I could Let's see, I have game days here. And that won't fit. I'll have to cut it. Or if I laid it this way. Okay, let's see how that would work. And then if I put a box here, it could work. All right, what about adding another floral butt in the classic size? I mean, working in the big, seeing this small as the classic because that's kind of what I started when I started happy planner or the planner size I started when I 
started to use Happy Planner was the classic, and then I used a mini for the first time in 2019. Um, seeing this, because I'm using a big now in 2021, I'm like, wow, that's so tiny looking. Yeah, it would have to be like this. And then I wonder if I could put one or just put some of this in the corner. That would be kind of cool. So then I would probably need to make this into a sticker so that way I could use just the side corner. It would be easier, I think. I don't know, I'm doing this all for the first time. straight or it didn't come out straight yeah I think it would just be easier that way so I could just cut around it instead of like tearing it or I could just cut it this way so I know I want to put something there and I feel like I need more of this leopard, but maybe I could put it over here and cover up this pink. I definitely don't like that. And I would have to trim this. Um, and then here I could just add a sticker or something to put there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and just measure it this way. You can use a ruler. I would highly recommend a ruler, but I always eyeball stuff, but it's probably not the best because then I don't cut straight. That's just the way my brain works. When I do things, I don't I just eyeball stuff. Kind of like with cooking too. I just always eyeball stuff and I don't write it down. And I know that's not like everyone's preference, especially my husband's. He needs order and instructions. Okay. I'm just trying to balance out the flowers so then I can start putting down stickers. So then I think I need this one again. And I don't know if I need so much of it because I have this space right here. And I cut this out just to see. Since I already prepped this one, I wanna cut it out me an idea where to place this one or use this one. Maybe I'll just trim that and have that one right there. Okay, so let's commit. Place some of this down. So I can start adding stickers to it. Ah.
Wow, that's super sticky. Okay, now that we have the paper pattern laid down where I'd like it, now I can start adding some of these stickers on top for layering. Okay. Ooh, this is so cute. Okay. And then my, my uh, niece's birthday. I might have to cut off this. Let's see. I could just put the two over that, outline it. I may do that. It may not look the best, but I, I don't know if I wanna cut that. That may bother me. Okay. Put that there. It's so hard that family's in another state. For me, it is. I'm a big family-oriented person. Like, I don't know, I'd rather, if I have time to, to spare or spend time, I'd rather do it with my family. So it's been a, it's been a challenge living here in California without seeing my family, because I'd go visit them like every weekend. Um, but yeah, I was trying to get out there but the tickets, I guess, because people are flying, it's just so expensive to fly from here to Texas. Okay. Then I have another birthday on Friday. Um, I'll do this down here because I have... these two blue banners. I didn't want them so close together. And do that. And I'm going to put this getting things done here. Like that. Because that day or Mondays and and I'm just adding these decorative cactus in here to fill in these white spaces um, like Monday and Tuesday are like my busy days and I try to get a lot of my errands done those days Wednesdays are my half days so I don't have a lot of time but um, I do like to get some things done before I do a lot of um, errands and driving that day Fridays are like my me time and um, Saturdays are family time or um, if I make um, time to go do something else and then Sundays are game days. So that's where I'm trying to figure out my boxes. Put that there. It's starting to look really cute. I do need something for My game days. I can use this one, but oh, I need checklist too. So I could use this one's cute. Again, why do they make so much extra space on these? And when I make a checklist or here, I know there's like what, only four? <laughs> I use the whole, like the whole lines and just like check it off of things that I did do. 
if I didn't get it done, I'll like put an X. Um, I'll mark through it or I have reschedule stickers that I like to use. Clear stickers. So that's cute. And then we talked about having a sticker here. Okay, so all my sticker thing here, and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pull more boxes, but I have this Enjoy Life clear quote and then rainbows because I was like pulling stickers that I knew that I thought I would use, which is like headers, boxes, um, and then a little bit of decorative. So I guess I should go ahead and add these rainbows in somewhere. And I'll use half of this one. Right there, that kind of fits perfect in that corner. Having a big layout really gives you so much more space to be decorative and functional. And then I'm gonna put this over here, that's so cute. Okay, Monday I had an appointment, take back the rental. I'll just, where am I going to put this? That would be cute there. I'm going to wipe that out. So I don't use bills to pay. I should have white out that pink box, but that's all right. Okay, so this will be for me. No, I'll use this on the other side. Okay. I'll just use this for notes section. All right. I don't need this sticky note. Worry about that later. Now we need um, boxes or see if there's any extra boxes for game days. I have the, again, I have these smaller ones here. Oh, and then I need some more bullets or checklists or something like that. So let's look through here. This one's a fun one. It's got a mixture of everything, which I like. So we have some hearts that I could use for bullets. We have these fun planners, happy planners, and then those. I could use this one for here. And again, I'll just write some stuff, or usually I like to use one sticker as a pinpoint um, of kind of, you know, what I'm going to do that day. What kind of day is that going to be? Um, especially if I do a hike. I like to do hikes on Fridays, but if I don't have time, I usually don't do a hike. So it looks like that's it. I mean, there are some boxes in here, but there's a lot more decorative stickers. Maybe use another one of these banners. Plans for today. That would be great on Saturday. Then maybe Ooh, there's this first page. You rock. Um, oh, we have these. Explore, day off. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. 
I'm gonna use another one of these checklists. So I took, um, there is a pastel rainbow one and then there's like ones with florals at the end of them. But I could probably use this for down here. Because Sundays are reset days after game days. <laughs> So our game days take up our whole day and then I have to like start washing clothes, clean out the fridge, see what I need to get at the grocery store. So usually that's a checklist type of a day. Okay. Cute. All right, so I'm going to have to pull something. Else. I mean, I know I have watercolor here and Super Mom. Oh, I could use these. These are white. These are perfect, I think, for here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, what if I turn it this way? Yeah, let's just pick another color. And then what I could do is add some stitching around the white box so you can see. And I'll put this on this side. So you can see it because with the white, it kind of like, you kind of lose it in the planner spread. Okay, so those are our game days that's taken care of. Um, I need something up there for the check it off stuff. Maybe I can put numbers up there, that would be a good idea. Ooh, these are cute. These to-do white paper scripties. I love these. Actually, I've seen these a lot in um, Happy Planners stickers. They're kind of like the OG stuff. I love those. Those are like my favorite. I really wish they would bring this stuff back. They're just so cute. And then I can put to do here, layer, that's cute, little flag, I'll put an orange one on this one, that's super cute, and we're looking for bullets or checklists. I don't know if I want to use stars. This is huge, but I wonder if I could cut it. I kind of just want to use these numbers. And it's got gold foiling in it. I don't even know if this will fit, but. I think I'm gonna make it work. I'm 
just move that up. Okay, cool. It actually does work. Let me just kind of move it up. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna like commit and flatten these stickers out. This is so cute and fun. I love this. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> Or I could have used the pink. That's what I was looking for, note to self, because I like those. It looks good on that side. Let me... color in this over here. I used the Micron 05 to um, bring back this two on the balloon. So we're just about to be finished with this planner spread. I think it's really cute and fun. So we need to kind of work on this space here and cover up that mistake or mess up. And I think I want to use one of these larger boxes. Do some layering. Here. Cover that up. Use a coffee break sticker down here. And maybe use some more cactus and a flamingo because it's so cute. I love flamingos. are clear so I haven't done a planner question of the day so planner question of the day are you more a paper sticker girl or guy are you a planner sticker girl or guy <laughs> clear stickers so let me know if you enjoy paper stickers or clear stickers so I guess for me it just depends but I don't know I think lately I've been loving paper stickers so I'm gonna to commit to that. That actually looks really cute like that. And then I can have something there to write some things. I have a to-do list here to get things done throughout the week. This is where I do meal plans. And yeah, another section of notes here for anything really. I don't know yet when I go to plan, but let me see if there's one last thing. I love the lemon. And there's this floral, but I didn't really use florals. Well, I did. Not sticker-wise, I used them in the paper. Kind of want to put that right there. And, yeah. I think that's it. I'm going to call this done. I think it's really cute. I love all the bright and floral, um, funky colors. I have space to write. I think here and here I may add my stencil. But I'll do that later. Um, happy planner, check it off with the squares. I think that would look nice. And I think everything looks great. I think where the balloon was, I just added that two back in with tracing it with this Micron. All right, planner friends, I am completely done with this planner spread. I actually really love it. It may be my favorite in April. I just had fun mixing all the colors and patterns and I was able to use some of my stash. So super cool, let me know what you think. Um, so kind of recapping, we pulled some of the paper floral, pattern paper that I had 
and I shared that you guys can use it using the Happy Planner punches and making those out of stickers um, with this little guy right here. If I find any of um, links, I'll link that down below. But you could also just use Tape Runner. Okay, so for stickers, mainly we pulled from Happy Illustration and I didn't have to <laughs> go through any other sticker books. Um, and we used a little bit from watercolor and I did go ahead and add some other things off cameras and I'll share that with you um, from Super Mom. We did use Simply Gilded Washi here and I shared some tricks using Micron pens. I love these. So I went ahead and used 01 to add in the check it off boxes from the stencil here. It's Happy Planner. And let's see what else. Oh, I added the stitch trick. I know I didn't share that earlier, but I'll try to zoom you guys in. Okay, so I added just a little stitch line border so that way that sticker just popped a little bit and you could use like, you know, sewing stitch or like the crisscross stitch. Um, and then I added another box here because I forgot there's actually a game day this day and this is practice. So I need to put a practice header sticker there. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, plan with me. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you on the next one. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye.